Oh, hey there. I just finished drinking a Frappuccino. It was good. I have a friend who can't have milk. I think about him a lot. I'm not much of a coffee drinker. Like, if it's there, I'll have some. But, like, generally speaking, when I want coffee, it's because it's, like, early in the morning and I need, like, a caffeine boost. So usually when I'm in the mood for coffee, it's, like, something you get at, like, a convenience store or a gas station or something. But when I, when I do have those occasional, like, cravings to, you know, actually sit down and enjoy a nice uh, coffee, like Frappuccino, that's my go-to drink, you know? <clears throat> and it was... Uh, actually in a coffee shop over a frappuccino that um i had a sad conversation with my friend um so uh i invited him over there and he's sitting across from me and he's sipping like a soy something i don't know and i had to tell him like I i'm sorry man but uh, i can't invite you to my birthday party this year because um there's going to be a lot of alcohol and a lot of milk and, uh, you, know, you know how you get, you know? He might uh, get drunk and accidentally drink milk, or he might uh, get drunk and get angry, or, you know, I, I just feel like it's a powder keg. You know, I didn't want to do it. I felt bad. And, you know, he says it's okay, he understands, but, like, I, I could tell, like, I could tell he was so upset, because I'm, like, his only friend, you know? So, you know, I say, like, ah, it's all right, man. You know what we'll do? We'll go out tonight, and we'll, like, celebrate just the two of us. It'll be awesome. He's he agrees, but he's not really like that into it. And we um, we go to the bar, and he's just kind of just staring into his drink. He's not really talking or anything. And uh, you know, I was gonna try and cheer him up, but then I ended up hooking up with this chick, going back to her place, and uh, <laughs> it was nice. Uh, I don't know. I guess he taxied home or something. It was sad.